Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to draw the magnitude plot for the transfer function h of s that we have here. So as we all know, we have to first make the transfer function ready for um, drawing the body plot. So what we have to do, we have to make sure that all the polynomials that we have in the transfer function, either in the numerator or denominator, should have a constant of 1 being added to them. By that, I mean if there is a polynomial like this, s plus 1, or for example, here we have s plus 2 to the power of 2, these constant numbers should always be equal to 1 in order for us to use the table of the body plot, right? So if you see here, for all of the polynomials, we have a 1 being added to them, right? So we can make this h of s ready now. So what we can do, I'm going to rewrite the h of s. So h of s is equal to 40 multiplied by s over s plus 1. Now, I have to make that 2, which is inside the next polynomial, equal to 1. So I can factor out a 2 from that parenthesis, but make sure that you are considering and making uh, and paying attention to the power of 2. So if I factor out a 2, it will be 2 to the power of 2 that is coming out of um, this polynomial. So we're going to have a 4 multiplied by 1 plus s over 2 to the power of 2. Right? So, right now, I can simplify um, this transfer function by dividing this 40 by 4, and I'm going to left with a 10. So now, my transfer function is ready for its body plot to be drawn. So we have h of s equal to 10 multiplied by s over s plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus s over 2 to the power of 2. So now, we have to draw the body plot one term at a time, right? And then at the end, we have to add them all graphically. So what we should do, we should start from the 10 the, in the numerator and we go to the so for each of these plots I'm going to draw them with a specific color so you can see what I'm drawing so I'm going to draw the 10 right now so if I come down here 10 is a constant right and the constant that I have in the table is k so I need to find 20 log base 10 of 10 in order to be able to draw its body plot because we know that the magnitude of the body plot is in decibels. So we have to find 20 log base 10 of 10 that is equal to 20. So I have a line with a slope of 0 because if you look at this plot we have a slope of 0 but at 20 decibels. So I will go up here and I'm going to just draw a line here, okay, at 20. Now, next term is S. So, look at here that we have S equal to J omega, right? And it is in the numerator. So, if I come down here to the table, we have J omega to the power of 10, uh, sorry, to the power of N over here. So, what I had was S, right, which is J omega, and the power is equal to 1. So my n here will be equal to 1. So if n is equal to 1, it means that the slope will be 20 decibel per decade. Now we have to have a graph that is passing the origin. And by origin, I mean 1 in the frequency domain with the um, slope of 20 decibel per decade. So I'm going to go up here. See here is the frequency of 1. So I should have a line that is passing this point right when the axis is zero and it should go up by slope of neg uh, sorry 20 decibel per decade so it should go from negative 20 until zero which is one decade because here i'm going from 0 0.1 at the frequency to one and then from one to ten we need to go from zero to twenty and so on okay so this is the graph for s. Now, we'll go to the denominator. 
So for the denominator, first term is s plus 1, right? So if I come, if I just write it over here, we know that 1 over s plus 1 is equal to 1 over 1 plus, or let me write it, j omega plus 1, right? Because why did I write it 1 over that? Because it's a pole, it's in the denominator. So if I come down here, and if I look at this row of the table, we have 1 over 1 plus j omega over p to the power of n, right? What was my um, polynomial? It was 1 over, the polynomial was 1 plus j omega to the power of 1, right? And I can write a 1 over here divided by 1, so I can have both p and n. So my p here will be equal to 1, and n is also equal to 1. So if I look at the magnitude plot, it says that it should stay at 0 until p, which is 1, and then it should go down by a slope of negative 20 n decibel per decade, which is negative 20 because my n is equal to 1. So I will come up here, and as it says, we need to stay at 0 until omega equal to 1, so see here we have 0 0.1 as a frequency, here is 1, here is 10, here is 100 and 1000. And then we have to go down by a slope of negative 20 decibels per decade. It means that when I go from frequency of 1 to the frequency of 10, my magnitude should decrease by 20 decibels. So this will be my plot. So it goes from 0 to negative 20, when omega is equal to 10, and so on. Now, make sure that you are not looking at the degree that is shown on the ruler of this um, program, just uh, because the slopes that we are dealing with is decibel per decade. So don't look at the degrees that is on this ruler. All right, so the last term that we have is 1 over 1 plus s over 2 to the power of 2. So I'm going to draw this one by green. And so it is 1 over 1 plus s over 2 to the power of 2. So based on the graph, n is equal to 2 here and p is also equal to 2. So it's the same as the other, um, actually as the previous one, uh, but with this difference that p is 2 and n is 2. So I have to stay 0 until p is equal to 2. Where is 2? So here we have omega equal to 1. So this is omega equal to 2. When I have 10, this is 20, right? Because this is 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. And we have 20, 30, and so on and so forth. So we have to stay at 0 until p equal to 2, which is over here. So this green and red line should be on each other, but I just write the, uh, draw them with a little difference so you can see both of them at the same time. And I have to go down by the frequency uh, by the slope of negative 20 n, which is negative 40 at this um, for this uh, part of the transfer function. So negative 40 means when I'm at 2 and I want to go to 20, I have to go from 0 to negative 40. Okay, so here is this graph. Now I have all my graphs. I only need to add them up to find my magnitude body plot. So what I normally do uh, is I will define the parts that there might be a change in some of the graphs. So here you can see that from omega equal to 1, um, the red and the orange graph are changing. So I just put a line over there. And over here, because the green line is being added, but at omega equal, from omega equal to 2, uh, we don't have any change in any other of the graphs at all. All right. So from omega equal to 0 0.1 until omega equal to 1, you can see that, first of all, we have a 20 with a slope of 0, right? It is at 20, so it means that the whole graph um, should be shifted by 20 decibels. So the blue graph has this effect. Now, um, the red 
green and the orange graph, if I add their slopes, I have a 0, 0, and a 20 decibel per decade, right? So <clears throat> if I add these slopes, I'm going to have a, a, a graph with a 20 decibel per decade slope. But it should start from 0, not from negative 20. Why? Because my whole graph should go up by 20 decibels because of the blue graph. So it will start from here. So the black graph that I'm um, sketching is our body plot. Then at omega equal to 1, you can see that we have uh, the red graph coming in. So the red graph has a slope of negative 20 and the orange graph has a slope of 20. So when, when they're added, the slope will be equal to 0. So here, I'm going to the 0. And at omega equal to 2, you can see that we have an orange graph with 20 decibel per decade, a red graph with negative 20, that these two will cancel um, each other's slope, but we have a green graph with negative 40 decibel per decade. So from uh, omega equal to 2, um, we're going to have a graph with slope of negative 40 decibel per decade because we have the red graph. So negative 40 decibel per decade means that here we are at omega, uh, sorry, at 20 decibel. So we have to go to negative 20 decibel in one decade. Okay, and so if you see here, from here to here, from 2 to 20, we go down for negative 40 decibel. All right, so um, this was the magnitude plot for this transfer function. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.